Hi, good evening everyone. For the next few days, we are going to go ahead and see what kind of questions can come in CUET part A. Part A may 25 questions aate hain. Ab hum ye dekhenge ki ye 25 questions kaise hote hain, kis tarha ke questions on mein poochha jate hain, uske kuch example, quant, relation, logic, um, reasoning, English, comprehensive, in sub se hum kuch dino tak agle dekhne wale hai. We will go ahead and see those questions. The first question for the day is this. It says AB is tangent to the circle. It is tangent to the circle. And the circle is of radius 27. Matlab O is the center of the circle. O center hai. ये कह रहे हैं ओ से मैं सेंटर से कहीं पे भी चले जाऊं यहां या यहां या यहां एनीवेयर आई गो द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल इज गिवन टू मी एज 27 सो इट सेस देयर इज अ सर्कल बट इट्स रेडियस इज गिवन टू यू एज 27 इट सेस ए बी इज 36 राइट एंड बी सी पासस थ्रू द ओरिजिन थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल Find the area of the triangle A, B, C. So, better what is what is A, B given to you as? 36. What is O, A? Agar me dekho O, A draw karti hu. Now, there is a property that if something is tangent to the circle and I draw a line from origin to the tangent, it will be perpendicular. अगर मैं O से A पे एक tangent draw करती हूँ, तो वो जो tan अगर sorry अगर मैं एक line draw करती हूँ, तो वो जो line होगी, वो उस tangent को perpendicular होगी. It will be perpendicular to the tangent. I hope this is making sense. तो जब मैंने O से A पे एक line draw की, I have proved that I have said that this is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. अच्छा OA is the radius है ना तो so what is going to be OA बेटा OA is going to be twenty seven OA will be twenty seven what will OC by the way OC will also be twenty seven भाई center से मैं कहीं पे भी चली जाऊँ circle पे end तक it is the radius it has to be twenty seven so OC is also twenty seven now let's think about OB Let's think about O, B. What is going to be O, B? I can use Pythagoras theorem. So, O, B is hypotenuse. It is perpendicular square plus base square under root. Perpendicular is 27 square plus 36 square under root. This is 45. So, jo mera O, B aega, wo 45 aega. If OB is 45, if OB is 45 and OC is 27, what is going to be CB? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, CB. Bada hai bhai. CB is just going to be 27 plus 45, 72. So I have found out that CB is 72. And AB is 36. It's not find out here. CB is 72. And AB is 36. Now, just mujhe area is triangle. Now, this thing is going to happen in this way. And I am done. Look, if we don't know the third side of the triangle, then what do we do? The two sides that I know, I will try to find the angle The two sides that I know, I will try to find the angle between it. And I will call this angle as theta. I will call this angle as theta. 
and the area of this triangle is going to be half into AB into sin B. So AB, take the answer AB. AB, right? Into sine B. So what is sine? Sine is, we know, perpendicular by hypotenuse. What is perpendicular here? This. What is perpendicular here? This. What is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is this. Hypotenuse is this. Right? So, perpendicular is 27. Hypotenuse is 45. Except, this triangle ki baat kar rahe hain. Kyunki agar sin theta nikaal na hai, to right angle triangle hi hooga na. Perpendicular base and hypotenuse. So, is triangle mein beta, what is my hypotenuse? 45. What is my perpendicular? 27. So, what will be sin B? Perpendicular by hypotenuse. Right? So, it is 27 by 45. Right? So, 3 by 5. So, this 3 by 5. Ho gaya. That's sign B. So, the area of this triangle is going to be half into... Uh, oh, chai, yaan pe thoda sa, isko se likha hai. This is going to be... this. The two sides that I know. Theek hai? So, the two sides I know are AB and BC. Abhi to angle B bana. So, AB into BC hai ye. AB into BC into sin B. So, jo AB ho gaya, the AB that I have found out, that is 36. So, I found out that AB is 36. The BC that I found out beta, that's BC is 27 plus 45. So, the BC I have found out is 72. Sin, sin B is 3 by 5. So, my area will be this. And that would be 777.60. So, approximately area of this triangle will be 778. This is the answer to your question. Okay? Okay. So, now, beta, on similar lines, note down question of the day. If tangents PA and PB from a point P to the circle with center O are inclined at 80 degree, find angle POE. I'm going to make a diagram. Just have a look here. This is my circle. Let me make a better one. This is my circle. I have this perpendicular. This is what it says. How do I know this is perpendicular? Because I'm going to draw tangent P A P B. So here I made a P point. This is P A. This is P A. This is P B. So, P is, uh, so if I have A here and B here and P, A and B, B are tangents, I know this has to be perpendicular. It says this angle is 80 degree. You have to find angle P, O, A. Is this clear? So, use some properties. Try to come up with some properties so that you can prove or you can find out what your uh, angle is going to be, what your POA is going to be, right? Just um, one suggestion that I can give you, and that's going to be very, very important suggestion, is that if somehow you can make some some property between these two triangles. Try to think about this. This is origin. From origin, I am drawing these two lines. Should these two lines be equal? Maybe. Why? Because it's the radius. 
if OA and OB are equal to each other, this is a common line between the two. Do you also have some property that PA and PB will be equal to each other? Yes. Length. So, we have this property we used to study back in class 10 that length of tangent drawn from external point is equal. So, PA is equal to PB. OA is equal to OB. This is common. Matlab, ye dono triangles to same hi hai. So, if these two triangles are same, can you say something about this and this angle? You can think about it. If you can say something about this and this triangle, then you can also say something about this, this angle. Yehi to batana hi wala angle. If I know this, I already know this, I can make something about this. Just think about this and answer it in the comments below. Okay, thank you.